Now next we have is gold leaf electroscope. It consists of, as, you, as I've made a figure for you, what does it has? It has a glass case, as you can see, it has, it is placed on a wooden plate. This we have a brass disc to, from which a brass rod passes. This is an insulating plug and uh, this brass disc is also called as brass cap. So from brass cap, there's a brass rod which is entering into a glass case and this bra uh, brass rod has two gold leaves as you can see at the end. This is what is a gold leaf electroscope. Now how it is used to know uh, like what, is, what function it can actually do? It can actually uh, tell us that whether the body is charged or whether the body is uncharged. Now how? It can because uh, see what we'll do is we'll bring a charged body suppose I'll bring a charged body let's say the charged body is positively charged I'm going to bring this charged body and I'm going to touch this brass cap with the charged body so what happened when it is touched then due to conduction the charge from this uh, uh, charged body will flow from brass rod to gold leaf uh, because it is positive charge so they will also acquire a positive charge both leaves and they will repel each other and the leaves will diverge right so if there is a divergence in the leaves so that means this body which you are bringing is a charged body because the charge has been charge is transferred from this to this to to both the gold leaves because they acquire the same charge that is why they move apart but if in case it is uncharged, let's say this is uncharged, let's say this is uncharged, then what happened when it is uncharged and it is brought near, so no charge flows from here to gold leaf and gold leaf will not acquire any kind of charge, so leaf will, um, leaf will be, leaves will be uh, closer to each other, that means there is no divergence. So this actually proves that which body is charged or uncharged. So you can write here how we come to know, if uh, the, uh, first you need to touch First, we touch the brass cap. We touch the brass cap with the body to be tested. So, what we see if the leaves diverge, that means body is charged. But if leaves do not diverge, that means body is uncharged and you know that why the leaves diverge leaves diverge because they acquired the same charge and because due to repulsion they will move away but if the body is uncharged there will be no flow of charge and the leaves will remain as such so this is how you can know that body is charged or uncharged second thing we can actually know that uh, the substance to be tested is a conductor or it is an insulator we can actually know this also so how we can know this so what we do is uh, we uh, like uh, suppose this is uh, in electroscope two electroscopes we have I'm going to charge one of the electro let's say this is a electroscope this is b electroscope let us charge the electroscope a by conduction so what I do is I bring the glass rod let's say because we know it is positively charged I bring the glass rod I rub the glass rod with silk and this charged glass rod is touched with the brass cap so as a result it will acquire a positive charge right and leaves will diverge as they are already diverged and uh, now what I'm going to uh, but this is uncharged this is uncharged so that means leaves are like this right now I'm going to like I have a body which need to be tested that body is conductor or not so this body is to be tested this body is to be tested and this is my already acquired this positive one so what I do is I connect these two electroscopes with the help of this two, uh, this body which is to be tested. So what I see is and the, the it is like this. So what happened if this body is conductor then that means some of the charge will flow from this to this place. So if it is conductor then what we see that the leaves of B electroscope also diverge because they also acquire a same charge because the charge positive flow from this body to this body because if it is conductor but if it is insulator and let's say this electroscope was like this as it was present earlier let's say if it is an insulator so that means it will not allow the charge to flow from here to here and leaves will remain as such so that means if you see the divergence 
in the leaves of uh, electroscope B that, that means the body to be tested is conductor but if there is no divergence that means body to be tested is insulator because when it is conductor then only it allows the charge to flow and the same kind of charge is going to flow and as I made this positive I can also make it this uh, make negative also because we just need to know that uh, a body which is to be tested is charged or uh, which is conductor or an insulator so if it allows the same kind of charge to flow through it and the leaves diverge that means it is a conductor but if it doesn't allow any charge to flow so that means this is an insulator so we can know this also now we can one more thing we can know we can actually know the nature of charge also we can actually know the nature of charge on the body to be tested also let's say I have charged this my electroscope I have touched with the glass rod and it has acquired a positive charge let's say this is in positive charge leaves diverge now I'm going to bring let's say I'm bringing an, a body closer to it uh, let's say this is a po this is positive charge right so when I try to bring a body which is to be tested let's say this is my tested body whose uh, nature of charge is to be tested I bring this the uh, charge body and I touch it with brass cap so what happened if the leaves diverge more if the leaves if the leaves diverge more that means if the divergence increases if the divergence increases that means the body has same kind of charge as of gold leaf leaves but if I suppose if it is again I have made it positively charged and this body is to be tested but this is negatively charged so if I try to bring a like if I bring a body to be tested a charged body a nature of charge is to be tested closer and I touch the brass cap if the divergence decrease if the divergence if divergence of leaves decrease that means this body has an opposite charge this body possesses an opposite charge like it is positive so that means if the divergence decrease so that means the body whose charge is to be tested is negatively charged so this is what is in gold leaf electroscope and by this we can actually see that whether the body is charged or uncharged how we need to touch the brass cap if the leaves diverge that means this body is charged if the, there is no change in the leaves uh, that means they are as such so that means body is uncharged second we can know the conductor or insulator for this you need to prior charge your electroscope one of the electroscope then connect two electroscopes with that material which is to be tested if it uh, if the leaves of the electroscope b also diverge that means it is a conductor if there is no change so that means it is an insulator third again uh, we, we want to know the test we know to we want to know the nature of the charge on any body so <laughs> let us we again we need to prior <laughs> charge it so if we need to if we bring the body uh, which is to be tested here and if the leaf diverge more so that means it possesses the same charge and if the divergence decrease that means it possesses an opposite charge that body so this is what is a gold leaf electroscope and I think uh, because it is an uh, it is a you can say a type which has more advantage over pitfall because it can actually tell us more accurately and it can tell us about an conductor and an insulator also so this is what is a gold leaf electroscope